hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video so i thought what i would do is that is just annoying just vlog yeah i don't know what i'm gonna vlog oh my god there is a huge spider above my bed this mama of a spider <gasps> can you see that oh my dear i hate spiders like i was saying i thought maybe i would just like maybe vlog for the week or for a couple of days at least because you know Sometimes my life can be interesting, sometimes it's really boring, but it's Christmas time, I'm not doing vlogmas, I'm not doing any style of vlogmas, like, I don't have time, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the camera, vlog a couple of days, God knows what's going to be in it, God knows I haven't got any plans. Um, but yeah, I thought I'll just vlog. So, I'm absolutely freezing, can I just say. Um, so I thought I would wrap up some Christmas presents tonight because Tom's had to stay at work a little bit later um, because it's so busy so I actually went to Pista Village yesterday um, to get a couple of bits and I really wanted to go back tonight just because it was so busy yesterday um, I didn't get everything I wanted I need to get Tom a couple more birthday presents um, and just some more Christmas bits um, but the queues were just so long and I was like F this I'll come back tomorrow um, thinking it'd be quieter but Tom said that he's had to stay longer because it's incredibly busy again so am i gonna go tonight probably not so instead i think i'm just gonna wrap up some presents um all my family do watch my videos so i'm not gonna be able to really show you what i've got i can show you what i've got for aleo and theo um and my sister's new baby that will be here soon in april it's not really that soon but it's quite soon um what else can i show you what i've got my dad maybe um but yeah i'm just gonna wrap some presents but i just thought i'll show you so when I was in Bista Village yesterday, um, I did go to the White Company. The White Company I can never get into, never, ever, ever, ever get into. Um, and basically in Bista Village, if you're looking to go, um, I would recommend it. However, it's very busy that a lot of places you have to join a queue. Um, so it's worth joining the queue of the shops you really want to get in because sometimes the queue is like two hours long. We went last night about, I don't even know to be honest, um, but I joined the white company queue and it was just going to say I was taking two hours. So I was going to go home and come back again. Um, and I was like, nah, I can't bother. So on the way out, I just by chance ran over there and I was like, it says I'm this far in the queue. Do you know how long roughly that's going to be? The queue is about an hour and a half, can I just say? And the girl on the door so kindly let me go in. She's very kind and I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, she let me go in. So I picked up this. Every time I'm in there, I can't help but pick up clothes for the babies. Like... Honestly, I think I've bought a layer a couple of things from there now. Um, and I just had to get this because this is so cute. So I got this for my nephew that will be born in April. Theo's little bro. Bargain, right? Originally £22, got it for £14. Got him that. By the way, just so you know, I do spoil people at Christmas. So I have got quite a lot. Why do I look so green? Um, what else can I show you? Oh my god, look at these, look at these. What I got for a layer. I mean, bear in mind these are not going to fit her for a long time, but... I just had to get them because they are lush. Okay, if you are watching this, please skip now because you don't want to ruin the surprise. Not there for you, they're for your child, but if you are watching, skip. Tell me they are not the cutest things you've ever seen in your life. Before Theo was born, I bought him so many shoes, and don't get me wrong, they are cute, but like girl shoes are just so much cuter. Like Theo just had like the plain white ones. Look at these. Also, look at the size of them size of my hand and when i say i've got loads it's all in these boxes i've hid everything in these boxes like there is an awful lot of stuff oh god look at this what i got for the baby how cute is that so this was from my designer baby or something it's like a knitted cable knit baby crow imagine in april when i'm like hello humbun Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, look at these. Again, from Designer Baby. So cute. These are for the for Theo's little bro. Oh my god. Look at this. How cute is this? 
Cardi. I got a layer of baby pink one, but I already gave her that because I just couldn't help myself. Right, so I got these PJs um, for Theo, and then they're personalised, but I decided to get MAC written on it so that the new baby can wear them as well, because Theo grows out of things, and then he doesn't get to wear them anymore. So I got these little PJs, which are the cutest things in the entire world, aren't they? Lele this. Little set from Sano's. Basically, I've just gotten loads of clothes because I can't help myself. Oh my god, we got Theo an electric BMW. It was extortionate, but we just had to do it. It has an aux. Like, don't worry guys, the vlogs will be coming of him in that. Like, just wait, just wait. I've got my sister some Jordans. Just like the low white ones because she wanted those. Don't worry, she knows she's got those. I'm not spoiling a surprise or anything just to know she's got these i got some pillows from the white company because that's what she wanted i've got them quite a lot of stuff i'm not gonna lie so i'm not gonna sit here and go through all of it because we will be here for hours like there is so much stuff what wrapping paper has everyone chose i always go for gold because i don't know i just feel like gold is just cute also i look like a boy this whole time let me take my hood down but yeah i'm gonna start wrapping and then I think I might edit a video. I really want to go to Vista Village. I just want to get Tom's stuff finished because I don't know about anyone else, but like I just get really like I started my Christmas shopping months ago. Like I'd finished and then I started buying people even more because I'd finished so early. So now I'm just like getting carried away, but I really need to get Tom's birthday stuff done because his birthday's in a couple weeks. But yeah, hopefully this vlog is interesting for you guys. I'm gonna get wrapping, I think. <laughs> Guys, I just found some labels and little bows from last year because I hadn't actually bought them yet. I bought all my wrapping paper, so this is the wrapping paper I've gone for this year. I mean, I just love gold and, like, I don't know. As you can tell, there's some gold reindeers up there. Um, but I just was under my bed and I found some little bows and labels, so I don't need to buy any this year. Brilliant. Actually, that's a lie. I definitely do because I'm going to run out. I found those and those, but I will definitely run out. So I decided to come because I just really wanted to come and get it done. It's actually 7 o'clock and the car park is still rammed. This place is just crazy. I can't believe so many people come here. Like, it's 7pm and it literally took me so long to find a space. Like, also, what the hell is that? Like, I actually can't cope with this place. But anyway, I'm here now, so it's all good in the hood. Oh, drop my keys. And it looks so pretty at night. Can't get the camera to focus for some reason, but... This is what it looks like, blurred. Um, this village is incredibly strict, so I'm not going to be able to film when I get in there because you're just not allowed. So, unfortunately, this is all you're going to see, but it looks pretty, right? Morning, guys. So, it's now the next day. Unfortunately, I just forgot to vlog last night. Um, I popped into Bista Village, and thank goodness it was quiet. Um, I didn't get manage to get into all of the shops that I wanted to get into. Um, however... I managed to get into a couple, so that was good. I picked up a couple more Christmas presents. Um, and then I came back and I wrapped some. However, I've run out of, like, tags. So I need to pop to a shop today to get some more tags because I just can't wrap without them. Like, I just need the tags. So, yeah, me and Mum are going to nip to Primark. I haven't been to Primark for the longest time. Like, I genuinely don't know the last time I went to Primark. I used to be, like, a Primark queen. I would go to Primark all the time um and i just don't go anymore it's just not not my vibe but i'm excited to go i think i just started going too much so i just like got it all got really samey samey and i just literally knew what was on every single shelf um so yeah the fact i haven't been for ages it's gonna be fun hopefully i find a couple of bits i look a little bit weird today i don't know what it is i feel like when i don't have lipstick on i just look incredibly young um and I also used a different mascara. I'm not sure if you can see my eyes. So I um, used the KVD Vegan Beauty mascara. And I just, I don't know, I don't like it. Um, so I just need to find something to wear. I don't really know what to wear. I just wear tracksuits every single day also. This is not good. Yeah, I just wear tracksuits every single day. And I just want to wear something different. But I just can't get into any of my drawers. Like, my drawers are just full. Like, I can't actually open them. 
so maybe this evening I will do a clear out of those. Another day, another tracksuit. I'm wearing this one. You guys have seen this many times, I think. Um, I wore this to London and I've worn it many times, but you will have seen it in a London vlog. If you watched it, it's just PLT. Not sure if they sell it anymore. Um, I've had it for quite a long time. So yeah, I'll probably just put my Jordans on with this and my big brown coat that I wear every day and I need to go because my mum's waiting for me. You guys will never guess where I'm off again for the fourth time this week. Got it, Bister Village, that's where I'm going. So I'm meeting Alex down in Bister Village um, just to finish off some Christmas shopping and to get a little someone some birthday presents. I can't say who in case they're watching this video. Actually, yeah, I can. Um, it's my friend Eva's birthday. It's after Christmas and I just want to get her birthday bits done too. So I'm going to go and do that tonight. Um, and yeah, this vlog is very, very samey, samey, samey. I am incredibly sorry about that. I've just been working this week, so obviously it's not that fun. Um, but I am off on Friday. It's Thursday tomorrow and I'm off on Friday. So hopefully Friday's vlog will be a little bit more exciting. Um, maybe I'll take my camera. It just feels pointless taking my camera to Bristol Village because I can't film. Like, I literally can't film anything. Oh, I'm actually vlogging on my phone right now because I left my camera at home. Well, at my sister's house. Um, but it's now Friday. I've got the day off today because I'm looking after my nephew. Um, I'm just walking back. We've just been into town. And so I'm now absolutely sweating. I really wanted to um, film a makeup routine this morning and I just completely forgot. So I might film that tomorrow because it's Saturday and I'm sure I'll be putting makeup on because I don't think you're going to be able to hear me because it's wind, to be honest. But yeah, we're just strolling home now. This is my favourite weather. It's like Christmas weather when it's, it's like really nice and sunny. The sun is setting, but it's cold. You can hear him singing. He's literally singing his little soul out down there. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely sweating because I've walked so fast and so far today. I'm so proud of myself. I never walk. Um, I was going to drive, but it takes so long to get his push in and out of the car that I thought I'm just going to walk. And I'm glad I did. I'm proud of myself. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey baby boy. What are you doing down there? Hey. Are you singing? Are you having a nice time? What are you doing? Hey. You can't be tired. You've been sleeping. What are you doing? Hey. Have you had a lovely day? Hey. You saw your cousin today, didn't you? We went and saw her later. So we loved that. Oh, he's just covering himself up. He's shy. Are you shy? Say hi everybody. Oh god, I look rough. Who's that up there? Hi everyone. We're home. Hi everybody. Who's that? Say hello. Hello. Look at your ear. Say hello everybody. My name is Phoebe. Should we take your hat off? Oh, I'm sweating, yet yeah, I'm so cold. Like I've got so much snot, but I'm sweating. Oh, did you have a lovely day? Hi everyone. Hi everyone, I'm the happiest baby in the world. I'm the happiest baby in the world. Who is it? Is that you? Is that you? Oh, it's you, isn't it? Is that you? Hi. That's the camera. Boom. Oh, that's nice. Cheese. Cheese. Ready. Cheese. Kisses. Oh, that's nice kisses. Thank you. He's giving you all kisses. Are you happy to be home, hon? Right, this kid is happy wherever we go, like he's the happiest child, but when he's at home, he's just so happy. Da, 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 da. 
Dada. Dada. It's like when we go out, he doesn't really make noise. Like he's so well behaved. Dada. Really Dada. He's so well behaved. Dada. He doesn't talk. Dada. Second, you take him home. He's literally Dada. loving his life. Dada. You do it. Kisses. Yeah, kisses. Ooh. Guys, he's going to be one next month. Can you believe that? Ba 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 By the way, I'm not actually this dark. The camera's making me look incredibly dark. Let me turn it around, you'll see. I'm really not that dark. Hello, everybody. We have an Hiya. 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 Oh, you're squishing my face. You're squishing me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ready. Steady. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. You're showing everybody your dance head. Go on then, dance. Dance then. It's true. It's true. It is true. Okay. No, 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 don't do that. Right. Let's get you on the floor. Well, you want to for and I'm going to show you guys. <sighs> The pictures that I got printed off today because I don't know if you guys I don't know why you would remember I never even told you about it when we went to um, Cornwall in August I took a disposable camera and we actually got the pictures printed off um, I found it and I went and I actually only just found the camera and I went to get the pictures printed off oh you want that so now we've got all these look that was Fifi in August look who's this is that baby Theo and we got one on the beach Cute. Got one of me and Tommy. Tommy boy. Then we got me and Fifi. I mean, I'm not going to show you them all, but me and Tommy on the beach. Me and Tommy on the beach again. Where are you going? Me, Vic, and Fifi. Fifi and Danny. You get the idea. Yeah, but how cute are they? So cute, so cute, so cute. Do you want your dinner? Should we have din dins? Okay, I need to go and do this dinner. Bye. All right, I feel like I've spent the majority of this vlog sat on this floor, but do you know what? I actually don't even care anymore. That's really annoying. I um, switch my makeup routine up quite a lot, um, and I feel like on TikTok and stuff, I get quite a lot of questions about my everyday makeup and stuff like that. I don't have an everyday makeup routine because I don't wear makeup every day. Um, I either go like all out or just wear a little bit. Um, when I say all out, I don't mean all out. Um, so I thought I would just show you, like, the makeup I put on to do my videos. Um, or if I'm going for a meal or anything like that, you know, just my standard makeup. So I guess, yeah, it could be classed as my everyday makeup. Um, got my Foxy Locks extensions in. They very, very kindly sent me over some more because I'm such a pain and dyed my hair literally a week after they sent me extensions. Um, so they sent me some more. These ones are 18 inch. My other ones were 22, I think. Um... But these are the 18 inch ones in the shade Chocolate. Absolutely love this. this. is not an ad. They were just very kind of gifted to me. But I get questions on that too. Um, and these I'm going to take off now. I've also got this cute festive lounge jumper on. Um, also very kind of gifted. Just going to take those eye masks off. They actually came in my glossy box. And they are just so nice. Um, I'm not going to lie. I can't actually remember the make. I think they're called Wanderlust or something. Wanderlust. W-A-N-D-E-R. My absolute bum cheeks. I can't remember. 
so yeah i thought i would just show you guys my makeup not i don't know it's not very interesting or exciting so i basically start off by moisturizing with the nivea moisturizer um it's actually up there so i'm not gonna get it because i can't bother um that's all i've done so far so then I go in, I'm just going to use this Bare Minerals primer, um, I got this in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. Um, I'm not really a primer user, I just use moisturiser, I don't know if primers work to be honest. Um, but like I got this in my Glossy Box so I'm just going to obviously use it up because why not? This is very nice, it's very soft and matte. Um, normally I'm a hydrating like glowy kind of girl and my makeup will be but obviously like I said got to make use of the things I get sent because I'm very fortunate and lucky um so then I'm going to go in with my NARS foundation this is the I don't know all day luminous lightweight foundation no all day luminous weightless foundation and I use the shade stromboli um I really like this I feel like it's just like a I mean you can't really go wrong with it like it's really glowy um it's not really thick but you can definitely build it up um when i wear it i do manage to cover up everything i go between using a beauty blender and a brush at the minute i'm loving this real techniques sponge i get so many beauty blenders and somehow i always end up going back to real techniques i feel like it's just the best like i said this is going to be a really quick makeup routine by the way guys so it's not going to be in depth or anything like that i'm just going to whack my makeup on and show you what I do basically so I've not actually really been wearing concealer much um at the minute I just don't really feel like I need it and it just adds extra layers to my face I just don't really feel like I need my skin is okay um but if I'm going to use concealer I either use the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer or I use NARS um Radiant Creamy but that's run out or I use Too Faced Born This Way um, this one, pretty sure it's in shade vanilla, yeah it is, or recently I've gone back to this, which is such a throwback for me, um, the Maybelline anti-age eraser thing, um, I used to use that when I was like 16, um, but I actually got this, um, in a cream contour as well, I just really fancied testing it out, um, I love this concealer and I thought why not test it for cream contour and I have been loving that, um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not using concealer at the minute, but I'm just going to actually, I normally take this straight onto my face, but I saw someone, I can't remember who it was, I think it might have been Sophie Floyd, put it on her brush first, but I actually use a beauty blender, so I'm just dabbed that all over my beauty blender. And I'm going to put it on to see if it makes a difference, then going straight in on my face. I feel like it is. The thing is, when I put it straight on my face, I feel like it, it um, wipes off a bit of my foundation. Um, weirdly, I'm not sure why don't you think you guys are gonna be able to see what i'm doing i also really love this because like i said it is a concealer i'm gonna zoom you in i think um it is a concealer so it does add more coverage to my face as well not that i really need it i'm just gonna drag the excess down my neck because i'm looking a little bit pale on my neck um so i'm just gonna do that again i feel like i quite liked it like that just pressing that in Again, I rotate between cream contour with a brush and with a sponge. I just really like this Real Technique sponge. Um, it's just a classic for me and it just works with everything. Foundation, concealer, cream contour. It's just an all-round winner for me. Um, but yeah, I do rotate and occasionally will use a brush for that because why not? You know, I might actually apply the cream contour to my head with this brush just to see how I like it. Um, I've never used this brush for my contour, I only ever use it for foundation, but I guess this is a concealer, so probably will work quite nicely. I think I need to learn like my face shape and where I need to contour because I literally just whack contour on where like YouTubers that do makeup tell me to. Um, but I know that everyone's face shape is different and obviously it all works differently for different people, so I think I need to sort of work that out for myself so i'm pretty sure we all know by now i like to be glowy and shiny and greasy and delicious um so i've actually started using this fenty stick now i don't know how you're actually supposed to use this because i've never seen anyone use it but i got it in my glossy box and i was just obsessed with it like the second i opened it i was like wow so i'm not sure i use it right but never mind so what i'm gonna do is spray my face with this pixie glow mist again from my glossy advent calendar then I'm literally just going to wipe this all over my face. Well, not all over. I say all over. I mean, like, 
going to wipe this on my cheeks. Also, just like all over my nose, a little bit on my head. If you're wondering, this is the Fenty Beauty matchsticks in the shade Trippin. So now my face is wet, I'm just going to use this Real Techniques blush brush and just blend it all in. So this is basically like a blusher and a highlighter and a glow all in one. I just really love it. The reason I spray my face first is because I feel like this moves around my face better when my face is like a little bit wet. Um, just stops all the makeup coming off that I've already done, do you know what I mean? Probably not, never mind. So that's basically it. I'm going to take my YSL powder. I don't really set my face anymore because I like to be very glorissy. Um... I'm going to use this YSL powder. So I'm just going to use this Real Techniques brush and this YSL powder literally to just sort of go over like bits that will crease. I Like I said, I don't really set anymore. Um, I prefer to be nice and glowy. So I literally just use a really small brush and just put it all over just so that it lasts a little bit longer. Do you know what I mean? Lush, lush, lush. I'm then going to take this Scream Queen Zoeva palette again from Glossy Box. Can you tell I'm loving Glossy Box advent calendar products at the minute? Um, I'm looking for my bronzer brush, can't find it, never mind. And I'm just going to take the bronzer shade and literally hardly any of this, but it's just this very nice and glowy, and I'm just going to put a titchy little bit where I cream contour, just so it's cute. Then we're going to take the blush from that palette, this pink blush with the same brush, and just... A little bit of that on. That blush does smell a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Then we're gonna take, by the way, this is my very quick makeup routine. I could literally probably do this in about five, ten minutes, if we're being honest here. I'm then gonna take the Life's a Peach blush by L'Oreal and again just pretty much put it all over. I don't really go very carefully with these products. So I don't really need any highlighter because I am very glowy, but my name is Emily Ball and I don't muck around so we're going to put highlighter on. Um, so I'm going to use the brush I used for my powder and I'm going to use the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop highlighter. Literally when I say you need a tiny bit of this, you need a tiny bit. When I'm going out or if I know I'm having pics taken, I'll put a little bit more on just so that I'm nice and glowy but this is a very pigmented glowy highlight so you don't need too much then what we do is get the gucci um eclat de beauty effet lumiere multi-use gel gloss by the way i did not say any of that right and it just looks a little bit like this it's like a clear gel um when again when i say you need a tiny bit of this you need a tiny bit by the way this is stunning when you have no makeup on um, and you just want to glow, I just rub it all over my face. I'm literally just going to put a tiny bit of that on the end of my nose. And on the bridge. Basically makes me look wet. Rather than glowy, I look wet. Then on the apples of my cheeks, on both sides. I just dab that in with my finger. Um, if anybody's interested, this is sold out all the time. So you probably won't be able to get that, I'm afraid. Um, but it is only £18, so if it does come back in stock, it's quite a bargain for a lovely, glowy product. Um, so recently I've been loving doing eyeliner with a brown eyeshadow, which I'll probably do just to show you guys. But first I am just going to put some eyeshadow on. So I'm going to use this iconic London palette again from my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. And I basically just use like the brown shades, pretty much just these two, and just put it on my eye. Like I don't really think about it too much. I just pop it on very simple I just like to have a little bit of color on my lid I just think it looks a little nicer than nothing problem is guys I'm still getting used to having brown hair so I think I go a little ham on the bronzer and stuff because I'm not used to being this dark so yeah bear with me there if I'm looking a little bit darker than I usually would so for brows I literally just use the color lash no the collection color lash clear mascara and any eyebrow pencil that I can possibly find um, Today, it's Primark um, and I don't really do much to my brows anymore because they're quite fluffy from where I laminated them so I'm just going to brush through them in fact I don't even know if I'm going to do anything to them might just 
underline the front a little bit. Just blend that out. But I think that's pretty much going to be it for the pencil side of things. My makeup routine does change fairly often. I know that some people use the same makeup for years um, and never change. But when I see someone like talking about something and I think they look nice, I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll get it. So I am constantly changing up my routine. So if you ever want to know what's changed, then just message and I can give you a give you an update. Or to be fair, I kind of update my Instagram stories quite a lot with the makeup that I'm loving at the minute. Um, so yeah, if you are interested, then I update Instagram more than I do YouTube about makeup life. Then I literally am just going to take the clear brow gel and just brush through my brows. I think I was doing my brows a little bit too big and heavy a couple of weeks ago. I look back at pictures and I just, not even weeks, maybe like last week. I just don't like it. I'm really trying to cut down on brow products so that they're just incredibly natural. I didn't do the brown eyeliner. I don't know if I'm, I want to do it. I don't think I actually want to, so I'm probably not going to do that today. So then for lip liner, I am going to use, I either use Strip Down by MAC, um, or I use Oak by MAC. Today I'm going to go for Oak, because I fancy it. And I'm just going to line my lips. I don't really overline them too much, to be honest. I sort of just follow my natural, oh, natural lip line. You can't really see at the minute. What I look like but I'll show you in the natural light afterwards so then for gloss I actually got two new ones let me show you so you guys know that I am an SLUT for Fenty gloss um, I just fancied mixing it up a little bit so I actually picked up these two ones from Morphe um, I got one PLT I got one in famous and one in Froze I think it's called Froze um, one Froze is like quite pink um, and metallic and then famous is more of a brown shimmer so I'm gonna go for the brown one today might be too dark i might not like it so may switch that up they're just so stunning i feel like morphe doesn't get enough recognition as it should because it's actually beautiful then oh got a hair mirror finally all i'm gonna do is take my Bad Girl Bang Mascara if I can find it. Check out my floor. <laughs> can not find it? Probably in here. Oh, it's right there. So I'm going to take the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I think I said this in one of my videos. It might have even been this video. I, um... Oh no, it's my Glossy Box Advent unboxing. I literally swore by Maybelline Lash Sensational for my entire life. Still do. Still absolutely love it. Um, but Tom actually got me this for my birthday. Uh, benefit bad girl ban and I freaking love it so much like so much that's one coat look at the difference one little swipe um all I will say is if you have long la uh, long lashes like me um lash sensational never did this but this one really transfers to the top of my eyelid um, obviously that's not the mascara's fault, I can't blame it on that, it's my fault that my lashes are incredibly long. But yeah, I do find with some mascaras they do transfer and this one definitely, definitely does. Um, sometimes I go in really ham with this mascara because I like to have really thick, dark lashes. I'm going to try and be a little bit more natural today, I say a little bit more natural but I don't know, I'm just going to try and tone it down. So there you go, that's the difference. And that's hardly any mascara, by the way. Normally, I put on so much more than that. So, if you are willing to branch out a little bit and spend a little bit more on your mascara, and you don't know which one to go for, I would 100% recommend this. I'll probably forget, I'm not going to lie, but I will try my best to link all of the things I've used today in the description box. So if you want to know, go check the description box, see if I've succeeded. If I have, give this video a thumbs up for me for remembering. It's really weird that my brows aren't really big and dark. See, this is why I start getting carried away with mascara. I just can't stop applying it because I'm like, I need more. So 
that is basically all I do to my makeup. Um, it's very quick, very simple, very easy, very basic. Um, like I said a minute ago, it does change very often. I'm always mixing it up, um, testing new things, trying out new things, loving new things. You know, as we should, girls and boys. It's all about experimenting and seeing what we like and don't like. So I'll take you over to the natural light so that you can see what I currently look like. So that is the completed makeup, guys. Um, it's quite sweet, right? What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not? That's the Morphe lip gloss I was talking about. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Um, I might take you into the bathroom quick because I just feel like the light in the bathroom is a little bit better. Yeah, so that is the completed makeup. Um, I'm definitely happy with how it looks on my face. It really does work for me and I just feel quite natural. Um, but full coverage, confident enough that my skin is like nice. And here is the extensions. So I'm looking incredibly different recently, guys. How do we feel about it? This time last month, I was literally like a full bleach blonde, long hair extension queen. And now I'm like a different person. I think I'm loving it. I think I just look a lot more natural and cute and yeah, live my best life. But I think I might end the vlog here, guys, because um, I want to get this uploaded tomorrow. So I'm not probably going to vlog anything else for today. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please remember to smash a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below. Um, let me know if you enjoy these like weekly vlog kind of things. I don't really get up to much because of work. I've also got no trousers on. Let me turn that around. Um, yeah, I don't really get up to much, but it's always fun to just document my week to look back on in the future. To see how boring my life was. Um, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you very soon for another one. I hope you enjoy your week and I'm looking forward to Christmas and yeah, love you guys. Ciao.